All right, you guys. You guys come back and we'll go from there on. Come here. Come here. These guys, <laughs> they're, they're my buddies, let me tell ya, they're really good. They just got their eyes open and they can see my signs and they, they know who I am, of course, so they can hear me good. But uh, they're now just able to stand a little bit and come over. They're about 17 days old, and uh, if you want to know what genetics are like for handler focus, <laughs> this is this is a, a world class example right here. These guys, how are you guys doing? How's my buddies? Huh? How's my buddies? Hey? Two males, two females. Bonnie's first litter. She's right outside. Right, right here. You guys are good, boy. You guys are good. You guys are my buddies. These are Peru and Bonnie pups. So these are fifth generation pups in my yard. One of the oldest genetic lineages in the world. And uh, these are amazing. These are amazing. That's my girl. That's my girl boy. That's my girl. What a good girl. You're such a beautiful girl, huh? You're just like your mama. You're just like your mama. <laughs> the, the instinct level of this group is so high for the handler that uh, it's, it's quite incredible. You know, these pups are 
Vida is the grandmother, and Karu's mother, of course, Ritu is the other grandmother. And they are some seriously good dogs, those two. And look at how you get this. Oh my God. And fat, healthy, happy. I mean, wow. When you can get a pup, when you can call a pup to you at 17 days of age, it's just pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah, they follow me before they follow their mother right now. That's pretty profound. <laughs> That's really good. You guys are good, boy. You guys are good. You guys are good. You come by me, guys. You come right here. You come by me. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come by me. You can come by me here. Come here. That's my boy. That's my boy. Maybe that's the big female. Yeah, this is the big female. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you're good to know. You want to pick it up. Jesus. No, that's a good. This is a little male right now. I think the other female's right here. This is the little male. Let's see. Let's just check. Yeah, this is the male. What a fantastic boy. He's a super boy. Yeah, good girl. You better come say hello. You better come say hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a good girl. Yeah. So very, very cool dogs in here. So Loki is the grandfather. He's the father of Vana. Loki is a pretty boy, a leaf and Tekla son. Pretty, pretty agile pups, right? Vana is one of the most agile dogs I got. To see dogs cruising at 17 days is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. You come by me, buddy. Come right by me. Come right by me. Come right here. <laughs> that is a good boy. That is a good boy. That might be the girl, I can't remember. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah, you're so good. You're so good. I could hike with these guys, they would follow me. I mean, we wouldn't get more than five feet, but they're ready to go. Where I go, they go. Fascinating. They don't actually like this blanket, it's too hot. They prefer it a little cooler. Vaughn is doing really good. Really, really good. I'll bring her in here. I'm going to stay in bed. You come sit by me, on it. Hang on, guys, I'll come back. Come on, come by me. Don't take off, buddy. Come by me. Come here. 
So I have Silver Nessa right here, and Ella right next, and they're all brand new females, all first litter, just young girls. Come on, come on. I'll put this guy right in here. Come on. Just stay. I'll just get him over here. So they're doing a wonderful job. Oh my God. Really doing good. Eating good, staying in good shape. Yeah. Lovely, lovely pups. Beautiful dogs. Yeah, really quite amazing. Flawless dogs. No flaws on those pups. Beautiful little guys. <laughs> Old World Hunters, Karoos from Finland. Karoo was born in Finland. Vana, of course, has all the old bloodlines. She runs some of the very best bloodlines in the world. Yeah, this is, this is incredible genetics. Some of the very best dogs out of Sweden, out of Norway, out of the UK, out of America, Canada. This is a this is a really really uh, stark pedigree dog. This Vana. Yeah. Vana, of course, is uh, <clears throat> has three for sure, maybe more, but uh, three. 50 year breeders. So, in our background, there's at least three breeders that were at the top of the game for over 50 years. And um, the quality of genetics in this dog is, uh, is incredible. And of course, Karoo is just unloaded firecracker of genetics and capability and instinct as well. So these pups are wow. And this particular lineage right here is one of the best in the world for handle focus. It's without a doubt uh, one of the very best. I don't know if there's a better lineage anywhere in the world than this lineage for hand or focus, so you can see it on the pups. I mean, at 17 days, they're uh, locked on to the hand. They were locked on the minute they came out. I mean, they knew who I was when they came out. They had been hiking with me already for a couple of months in the belly of Donna. One little guy, he was, he was coming over to me he was only a few minutes old. I said, just hang on, buddy. You better get back over here and eat. <laughs> but Bonnet would go outside, and uh, the little guys, first few days, make little rackets. So I'd come in and sit with them. And two seconds, as soon as I got, got in here, just said hello and touched them. They were quiet, happy, content. Yeah. This is a good way to raise pups. Have uh, have the the good genetics and have genetics that you know almost every single aspect of it. And very little I don't know about this genetic. <laughs> I got. Uh, I have the fifth generation still standing 
hiking with me outside. He was him and Vaughn were playing this morning. So it's kind of cool. Had Vida up for a good run last night. She's happy. Oh, she's back. Oh my goodness. Vida cycling, but she's not getting red this this round. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Had Grandma Tacla. She's she's uh, right handy. Yeah, pretty cool. Grandpa Leaf, he's right. Well, maybe it's uh, maybe it's great grand great Grandma Tacla. That's yeah, great Grandma Tacla, and it's great Grandpa Leaf. They're they're of course here. So yeah. Great grandma tackle. Pretty cool. <laughs> great great grandpa Bram is still hunting. <laughs> That's Tackle's dad. That's pretty profound. And then great 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 grandma Gaida, for crying out loud, she's still running. She's still hiking. Pam's got her down south. So yeah, this is a good genetic. Yeah. Dakota was 11 years old when he had Vanna's mother. 11. Gator was seven. Yeah, that's a very, very good genetic. You guys are good, boy. You guys are good. I said you guys are good. Yeah. Uh, you guys are good. You guys are good. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I've seen everything now. I've seen everything now. Yep, yeah, I've seen everything now. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good video. I got some more people to notify. I've been so busy. Oh my God. So with these litters, they, the little females, the new ones, they take a little more work, take a little more time. You gotta sit with them. And it took me days to get all these litters out and happy. Plus I got five females in heat. We got Desna work, we got all kinds of action. But uh, I'll get all the videos done today. But I wanted you to see these little guys. In the world of elk hounds, this is a pretty profound group of dogs. No doubt about it. In the world of any dog, it's pretty profound. This particular lineage traces back to the start of the association and long before that. It's one of the oldest known genetics alive. One of the most diverse genetics. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, that's pretty good. Good job, Vanna. Good girl. Where'd you guys? You guys just stay. You guys just stay. Good. Good. Good job, Vanna.